जी मैं तैमूर अजमल आई एम एन आई टी प्रोफेशनल इन वर्किंग हेयर एट मल्टी नेशनल इन दुबई आई वर्क फॉर आई सी फ्लिक्स अपार्ट फ्राम दैट आई वर्क एज एन एडवाइजर विद असद उमर एंड आई ऑल्सो वर्क एज एन एडवाइजर विद मोहम्मद सदीक साहब एंड आई आई हैव दिस पैशन एंड दिस सिंपथी टूवर्ड्स द सोसाइटी आई वर्क एज एन एडवाइजर विद ट्रांसपेरेंट फाइनेंस So, like, I work in multiple domains, um, and I want to contribute towards the society and humanity. थोड़ा सा तारुफ करें ना कहाँ पैदा हुए? अच्छा अच्छा. शाही शाही कहाँ करी? अच्छा, I was born in Peshawar in 1985, and I studied at, uh, in Fast Islamabad. Done my bachelor's in computer sciences. I worked for five years in Islamabad. Then I moved to the. क्या करते थे वहाँ? I work. I work purely in mobile technologies. Uh, and I. Started working in Apple platform since it was launched back in 2008. So, who, uh, which company did you work for, Sam? Uh, I work for uh, Idris Kotari's company, Via um, Vertical Systems, and I also work as a sales consultant for them. I have just started working for, for them in the MENA region. Uh, then I moved to Tariq Farid's company, Nexolis. Sure. Ji, I work for him for like two and a half years. So you build their app? Exactly, the Edinburgh Arrangements app, which has around. Uh, which is actually worth 600 million dollars the whole business because uh, the, the iPad and the iPhone the whole apple platform applications is, and the company itself is worth how much it's it's around 600 million dollars and it's it is public nasdaq is rating it and they have around 1500 franchises all over the world he's actually considered as the king of franchises yeah. and, and uh, yeah, that's it i've then moved to the so what made you move to the bank uh it, more exposure better market uh, I, in, like i was never ever disappointed the way that pakistan situation was it market is very it's blooming it's 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 really really good for the people who want to excel and explore the even the entrepreneurship way uh, but the way that uh, you can get exposure abroad and then you can add uh, context and work for the bigger uh, picture i mean the so bigger kaam kaam kya uh, i work For Fusion SD, the guy, uh, I guess you have met my CEO Kevin Arnold the, on JPEX 2013. Right. Yeah, for, for Beef Food, uh, uh, we worked on a product for Mercedes Benz. The the whole operations of automobile industry still exists on not even desktop computers, but on paper and pen. And he thought of that idea. We actually developed an application which didn't have any market at that time. And Mercedes Parameter has now signed a contract with us. It's actually one of the first applications which can auto, which will actually automate the whole automobile industry operations. Um, it's launched now. So, how many years are you working? How long did you work there? Two and two and a half years. Then you switched. Yeah, I switched. So, It was actually uh, a good move at that time because, uh, I mean, the. they were actually in the struggle to to sell the applications because you cannot it's it's a huge struggle to create a market i mean the market which never exists if if you have a model for them that this is our application will work that's easy um, so when we like we de- developed our whole application in 18 months i was actually working as a project manager of their mobile team but then it took them around 6 to 8 months so i i was feeling that um it's good time to move now of course i have a very strong profile like these for uh, the company uh, sorry the clients for which uh, i had worked mercedes benz australia porsche australia uh, so that was uh, i mean i i i felt that it's now a good time to move now so now you move to another company yeah i see flex i see flex i see flex they have actually this exactly the same model as netflix and they are targeting this mina region um at times it it makes you feel good when you are in a more challenging environment when you are working in a more stable company so the way that the ceo of alibaba said that you should work for a smaller companies which are actually going to you have the opportunity to learn more and then grow with the company mm-hmm. uh, so i mean their their product would be launched in this week inshallah and uh, that's it has been launched but it was icflix has been around for a while exactly but and the i mean i i particularly work in that their apple platforms um, they so the apple have product it. would be launched yeah they already so far they did not have an apple product they they, they do have it 
Okay. Previously, it was uh, they outsourced it to another company, oh. uh, but they didn't have their own developed product. Uh, now you had this product. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So they, that will be launched in, in a week. Hopefully, we'll target this New Year, Christmas. These, these dates are very important. How do you see world different in Pakistan than in the West? In Pakistan, there's a lot more opportunities. Like, I mean, you, if you, if you explore any industry there is so much to work even if it's education it's agriculture it's it's farming anything there there's a lot of room there's a lot of opportunities to build it products and then automate the whole process in these kind of well developed countries there is not much room there are already products there are the technology has like embedded itself so well that there is less room for it and there are less opportunities. In Pakistan, it's, it's very open. You just need to be bold in this. I mean, have that self-belief that you, you can develop something and then you can crash on it. But people think that if they come to Dubai, they would be very happy or... No, my, my perception yourself. is different. No, the happiness, I, I wouldn't define happiness with, with money or like living abroad somewhere. I mean, happiness is something that... Uh, if you can make a difference to the society, you do something and then that technology or that particular product that you have developed can actually make a difference. Uh, it, it, when I started working for Transparent Hands, I started voluntarily. They, they actually connect donors to poor and needy patients and they make the whole system very transparent. And like, it has uh, helped around 180 f families for now. Uh, so these kind of products, that, that's a very simple idea and we, we are not actually going, we, are, we have just uh, closed a deal with Farhan Masood of Solar Insight, he is on board now. Uh, and, and so that's how, I mean, these kind of products, it's, it's a huge blessing for people out there. It, let's say people like you or other entrepreneurs, if they want to donate money to hospitals, they would be so scared and they would be so skeptical, like, where would that money go? But if you make the whole process transparent. So um, so the point that, I mean, that's not happiness if you live in Dubai or US and Europe. Happiness is that you make a difference and you achieve something that can change the lives of masses out there. What suggestion will Pakistani <laughs> okay, I, uh, I mean, I am Urdu. I am not so much skilled or so much, I don't have a long list of achievements, but uh, the thing that I want to, uh, one of the advice is to get exposure. It's not about reading books and not, not about, I mean, learning technologies and things. You can, you can learn it at any time get exposure, start following people, have your idols out there, read books a lot and then you, you get the exposure that how and you will that that will actually broaden your vision to the to the whole way of living. It's not about working nine to five and then you set a goal yourself for yourself like in the next two years I'll develop this product and I'll then market it. Uh, and the world has changed a lot in the last 10 years. If you see that when we started uh, studying at universities in 2004 and 2005, it was very different. You wouldn't find online materials so easily with the advent of iTunes, University and other such portals. You can learn anything that you want and you can connect to anybody you want. If, I mean, the way that I've been talking to people, that was actually a dream. I mean, talking to you, Asad Umar and Tariq Farid, it's so easy. Technology has made it it made it so easier for us. Like I, I just sent a message to Farhan Masood and he talked to me for half an hour. And I pitched him an idea that we can use your camera in our product where the customer is walking into the showroom, we'll read his whole data. Or sales the he the, the customer would actually greet him and the the whole way of uh, customer service would improve like exponentially. And then I was uh, watching one of his interviews and he had the same idea that he told me that I had thought this. Honestly speaking, I didn't watch that interview at that time. So, I mean, the, the way that I, I had actually improved myself was that I, I started following people. I started uh, reading their blogs, their lives, their success stories, read books. I actually read the whole book of Steve Jobs, the way that, and even Bill Gates' movies. 
So there is, I mean, you should change your dimensions of entertainment. I mean, it's it's good that you watch movies and you listen to songs and others, but there is you have to change your preferences. Yeah. No, no, no. Take your time. Our prime minister of Pakistan or the team, what will do? The first thing I'll I'll do that I'll uh, I'll try to decrease the, the drastic difference of elite and the poor. How? Oh. I'll connect them. How? Oh. I mean the the best way to connect them is to choose the people. Uh, it will go back to the election process. So the I'll in fact I'll make it more and more transparent. I was like I mean I I was talking to one of my Indian friend and he told me in India me do merzi hota hai, but in the election process is absolutely transparent. Us what the transparency count? Transparent is that the people. They would, uh, it, they can choose whoever they want. Or uh, so the, the first thing is I'll uh, I'll improve that process where people can actually choose the right okay. persons for them. And I, I'd be I'll sound more like a PTI <laughs> pro, but for now, but that's actually my strong belief. Even in PTI, uh, the people who were actually deserving are not in the, in the top positions. Uh, and that even the leaders the themselves they 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 admit it. So once you improve that, you would actually be. So our prime minister will become. Now what will you do? So I, I'll choose the way, I'll choose the cabinet the way that Canadian prime minister has chosen for himself. He he has chosen the professionals. I wouldn't go for the seasoned seasoned politicians. And I'll then delegate the powers. So एक एक आम बंदा किसी गांव का क्या क्योंकि हेड मास्टर हो तो उसके पास इतनी फॉरेट होगी कि वो अपने स्कूल के लिए फर्नीचर और चीजें हैं वो ऑर्डर कर सके उसको ये जरूरत नहीं होगी कि वो किसी नेशनल सम्मेलन या बड़े बंदे को कॉल करेगा और तो मेंटल एलेक्शन प्रोसेस डेलीगेशन ऑफ पार्स एंड द थर्ड इज मेकिंग एजुकेशन I mean, it's good that you develop roads and you develop buildings and other, but that that can come after the people are empowered and they they are more healthy. Fifty-two billion rupees. If we are going to spend on education, we are going to make a metro. What do you think? I absolutely agree. I mean, we can we can take example of Mexico, uh, where you have these skyscrapers and very well furnished roads and all that, but the the country itself is not developed. The country would only be developed. If the people are very well educated, they are healthy at minds and they are healthy uh, in bo the body wise. Uh, so the welfare to the, the, I mean the the goal should be a welfare country where everything is to facilitate the people. Five years after that, how will the world be? I'm actually very optimistic. No, 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 no. In terms of technology, you're techy. Yeah, exactly. In terms of technology, that's what I'm how saying. would the world look like? And people, would what will we be having? What will we be doing? And differently. So five years ago, this was not possible. What we're doing, right? So we did not have a high definition camera sitting on a tripod, shooting people. So five years ago, there was a Nokia ding dong. Exactly. Yeah, there was no camera. Uh, I mean, technology would be very very mobile. The way that you have just shared the idea of using mobiles. Uh, for the election process, using mobiles to pay your bills, using mobiles for every, I mean, not mobiles, like particularly, it would be the handheld devices that can do everything that that you need, even it, uh, like paying it from wallet, from uh, services, everything that you can think of that for, uh, for which actually use the manpower, that would be done through technology. पाकिस्तान की 200 मिलियन पापुलेशन में से कितना कितना स्मार्टफोन होगा पांच साल बाद? सिवन लेस देन फाइव परसेंट। आई आई डोंट हैव एक्सेक्ट फिगर। कितने कितने में होगा? इन इन फाइव इयर्स, हाउ मेनी पीपल डू यू थिंक विल हैव अ स्मार्टफोन? आई सेट इट इंक्रीज लाइक आई मीन 200 परसेंट द वे दैट इट इस नाउ इंक्रीजिंग। Let's say if it's five. Right now, let's say if it's five percent, it'll become fifteen percent. Yeah, fifteen to twenty percent, exactly. Not hundred percent. No, I don't think so. You think you will be able to buy a uh, a phone from five years from now, which will be like a touch? I mean, not a touch digit phone. I that's what I feel. That you think it will be still available? 
the the smartphones yeah. do you think there would be dumb phone available in exactly the, the, the no yeah they can never ever be uh, diminished i mean the way the that dumb phones yeah uh, no not the dumb phones but the very cheap smartphones like yeah so maybe right the, now a cheap phone a smartphone in karachi is 26 dollars it would be a lot less yeah so uh, how I much would it be in five years it would be less than five dollars less than five dollars. so in if we, so the, the common man of pakistan cannot afford five dollar phone no but uh, if, if like i am very optimistic about the governance and the whole way that the i mean the rulers will actually make the lives of the people better so the rulers don't do anything so how much will be a smartphone in 5 years 5 dollars right yeah 5 dollars so can a normal pakistani afford a 5 dollar phone yes or no but since the phone would be 5 dollars the, the buying power of that common man would increase as well so i am optimistic but, that but but uh, everybody have a smartphone then or not No, if it's just five dollars, I already answered no. I I think every everybody wouldn't have a smartphone. What yeah. kind of phone will they have in five years? So right now in Pakistan we have 140 million phones. Yeah. How many in five years will be stupid phones? Since you're saying it's not going to be available, and how many will be smartphones if it's five dollars? If you're saying five years, I wouldn't think that the the dumb phones would be absolutely. Uh, I mean, diminished. Like they they would still be there. We will would still have those phones because it was like I mean. So smartphone is five dollars. How much would be a dumb phone in five years? Maybe two, two, one one dollar, two dollars. So what's the difference between two and five? I mean, for a normal, even a cheapest Pakistani. But I actually, uh, I mean, drawing this whole knowledge on the basis of Sundar Pichai's uh, vision, in which he was targeting the whole India. We can relate ourselves a lot to that Indian population. Yeah, I agree. Uh, and. Uh, He actually targeted it. every Indian would have a smartphone, and we will decrease When? the price. His vision was also, I guess, in two thousand twenty. So, if sir, okay, I have answered the question. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir.